What's up everyone? It's Steven, back with another video for Dairy Capture. In this video, I'm gonna give you some of my basic photo editing tips so that you can take your photos to the next level. We all know that even some of the best photos out there can be slightly improved with a little bit of editing. But how are you supposed to do this? Is this even possible? Well, after this video, you're gonna find out the answers to those questions. You're gonna get five basic photo editing tips that are gonna take your good photos and make them great. Rule number one, you have to make sure that you have a good starting point. Not every photo you take is gonna be a masterpiece, but you're definitely gonna be able to tell the difference between a good photo and a bad photo. If you have a photo that you think is bad to begin with, there's not gonna be much that any editing can do. Editing software isn't magic, even though it seems like it might be at times. It's something that can only enhance what you're giving it. So if you have a bad photo that's blurry and isn't making any sense, editing software is only going to be able to do so much for that, and in the end, it's more than likely not going to turn out to be a good photo anyway. If you have the mindset that you can take any photo you want, while at the same time being able to save it in the editing process, you need to drop that right now. because. There's going to be photos that aren't going to be able to be salvaged no matter what you do during the editing process. This is why you always need to have a good starting point. With a good starting point, you know you at least have a decent image, and with that decent image, you're able to only improve it from there. It's much easier to make a decent photo great than to make a bad photo good. So you need to always keep in mind that the editing process can only do so much for you. This is why with a good starting point, the editing process is only easier and you're more than likely going to get a good photo in the end. If you take anything away from this video, you need to rely more on your camera skills than your editing skills. Rule number two, you need to know your end result. By this I mean you need to have some sort of idea of what you want your photo to look like. Having some sort of idea of what you want your photo to look like is only going to help you in the end. It's going to help that vision you have in your head come to light. Not to mention that it's also going to speed up your editing process because you already know exactly what you're trying to aim for. This is something that could even help you before you even take your photos. Think about it for a second. You know exactly what you want your photo to look like, so before you even pick up your camera, you know exactly what to look for, and then when you take something close to that, you're gonna be able to put it into the editing software, and then when you edit it, everything's gonna be faster because you know exactly what the end product should look like, because in your head, that's what you want to come to light. And when you're done with the editing process, you'll come out with a product and a picture that looks exactly how you first envisioned it. My third basic photo editing rule is that you need to try and create emotions. Now trust me, creating emotions in your photos isn't always going to be the most easy thing to do, but through the editing process, creating emotions becomes infinitely easier. What I want you to do now is think of your favorite photo. Think about why it's your favorite photo. For most of you, you're probably looking at a photo or thinking of a photo that makes you happy. Think about that. That photo is creating a happy emotion within you. For whatever reason, when you see that photo, it brings back a happy feeling. It doesn't matter what kind of photo it is, the important thing is that it creates some sort of emotion within you, and that's why you have such a connection to that photo. And this should be a goal for every photo that you end up taking. You wanna try and create emotions for the viewer whenever they look at your photos. Now again, I'll say that doing that is definitely not the easiest thing to do. But the more you develop your editing skills, the more you're going to be able to evoke some sort of emotions within people. So for example, one of the easier ways to create some sort of emotion in your photo is to change the color of that photo. You can give your photo some sort of tint, you can change the color temperature of that photo. All of this is possible to do with your editing software. Until you actually change the overall colors of your photos, you're not really gonna understand the power colors have to change the entire mood of a photo. When you have a photo that's more blue and has a blue tint to it, you're more than likely gonna have some sort of somber feeling because that's the way the color works in the photo. Blue is more of a cooler temperature, so it's gonna bring down the mood of the overall photo. When you have a photo that's more of an orange or yellowish tint and has much more of a brighter feel to it, you probably have a happier feeling about it. There's much more of a happier emotion about that photo. With whatever editing software you're using, you're going to be able to change the overall colors of these photos. And when you're able to change these colors, you're going to be able to change the mood 
thus affect different emotions within the viewers of those photos. My fourth basic photo editing rule is to put emphasis on your subject. Through the entire editing process, you're gonna be able to put much more emphasis on the subject of your photos. You want people to look at your photos and not have any confusion about what they're trying to look at. You wanna make sure they know exactly what the subject of that photo is. So when you're taking your photos, I would hope that you're taking your photos with something that has an obvious subject in it. But of course, there's gonna be a few exceptions depending on the type of photography you're taking. But for those photos that are supposed to have an obvious subject, during the editing process, you want to try and put a little more emphasis on that subject. When you put a little more emphasis on that subject, they stand out a little more, thus drawing the viewer's eyes to where you want them to go. You want your viewer's eyes to jump directly to the subject. You don't want them to jump all over the frame. You want them to recognize the subject first before they can really analyze everything about the photo. And again, this is gonna depend entirely on the type of photography you're doing, but for the most part, when your photos have an obvious subject, put a little more emphasis on those subjects so that you just help your viewers in the end. Now my last basic photo editing rule is to just not overdo it. Don't overdo the editing process. When you're messing around with your editing software, there's gonna be a lot of different things that you recognize that you can change about your photo. The possibilities of what you're able to do with the editing software are going to be very vast and going to seem almost endless. So because of this, it can be very easy to get carried away and overdo it with the editing of your photos. This is why I'm a big proponent of keeping things as simple as possible when you're first beginning this whole editing process. You have to remember that if you took a good photo to begin with, if you have a good starting point, you're not gonna have to do much editing to that photo anyway. Your camera is gonna do a lot of work for you. The editing process is just there to enhance the photos as needed. Sometimes doing the minimal edits are gonna be what's best for that photo. When you overdo the editing, it's not gonna look natural, and in the end, that's probably gonna turn your viewer off to what your photo is trying to get across. Now I understand that there's some editing styles out there that call for you to overdo the editing, but for most of you, that's not gonna be your editing style. So why overdo it with that's not your editing style? Keep things simple, especially if you're a beginner so that you don't lose the overall focus of your photo. Keeping things simple will keep all the important details in your photos, and in the end, that's what you wanna bring out. You wanna bring out all of the important details so that your viewer is getting everything they're supposed to get out of your photo. Editing your photos can be a really fun process. You can change almost anything you want about your photos. However, you should always keep in mind the rules that I mentioned in this video. You need to have a good starting point. You need to know your end result. You need to create emotions. You need to put emphasis on your subject and you need to not overdo it. Keeping these five rules in mind will help you no matter what type of photo you're trying to edit. And everyone loves it when things that they're working on become much easier because of a few simple tips and rules that they follow. So, I wanna know any editing rules that you do or think of or follow that allow you to take your photos to the next level. Leave those rules in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to hit that like button. It's not gonna hurt you, I promise. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be something that helps keep pushing me to provide good content to you. So, on that note, I'm Steven. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.